Hi, thank you for watching this video. I'm Su Yuan Liu, and currently a fourth year PhD student from the Department of Industry and Assistant Engineering, and supervised by Professor Rich. I'm going to present my research project about stochastic multi-objective optimization and fairness in machine learning. In our real life, we are often facing say multiple objectives and doing trade-offs among several competing goals. In this project, we consider a stochastic multi-objective optimization problem in a general form, say we want to minimize a vector of M objectives. And each objective I phi can be expressed as in uh, expressed as expectation. So we here the decision x is the decision variable in the feasible region and w is the random variable. Um, different from the single object optimization, we should we define the optimality for multi-objective case in terms of Pareto dominance. We say a point X dominate Y if every objective function has smaller value at X than Y. And we say a point X is critical minimizer or non-dominant point if it's not dominated by any other points in the set. And the ultimate goal of which objective optimization is to construct a critical front to support the, the best trade-off in decision-making process. And such a critical front is actually defined as an image set of the set of uh, critical minimizer into the decision space. The stochastic multigrading method is then designed based on the necessary condition for a point to be a critical minimizer. We say xk is a critical stationary point if we can note from any direction dk D such that all the objective all the objectives are decreasing along the direction. In other words, we can always find a common descent direction for any non-stationary point xk. And such a direction can be uniquely defined by solving this quadratic subproblem, which is actually equivalent to another subproblem. And this subproblem meaning is is meaning that we want to find the coefficient of the minimal known vector in the convex hole composed by the two gradients. Therefore, we can write down the explicit form of the common descent direction dk as the convex combination of the two gradients. Then when the, the true gradient information is not available or is too expensive to compute, and we can generate stochastic gradient as an approximation of the true gradient. And then the common descent direction dk can be approximated using say stochastic multigradient, which is written as the com still the convex combination of the stochastic gradients. Now the stochastic multigradient algorithm will take uh, iterate around the negative g with steps as alpha k. We have uh, developed several theorems about the convergence behavior for the uh, stochastic multigradient algorithm based on different assumptions. The theorem one present here just show the one over k convergence rate when all the objective functions are strongly convex. And to prove this theorem, we also need some uh, classical assumptions for the stochastic gradients. And uh, in the theorem, the optimality gap is measured using the weighted sum function, capital S. And it basically means that the sequence of iterate generated by the algorithm will finally converge to a Pareto minimizer, x star here. Similarly, we can prove one over square root k convergence rate for the convex case. In order to get the whole Pareto front in a single run, we also designed and implemented a Pareto front version of the stochastic multigradient math algorithm. Now we can apply this approach to any stochastic multi-objective problem in, in machine learning. In our project, we consider the two conflicting objectives, say prediction accuracy and fairness in binary classification task. 
And suppose we have the set of non-sensitive feature vector Z, and we use capital A to denote the sensitive attribute like gender. And we are giving the set of target labels for each instance. Say the capital Y is positive one or negative one. Then given a set of large enough sample, we want to build a binary predictor Y hat, which is a function of parameter X. And this parameter X can be learned or chained from the data. We say a machine learning predictor is unfair if it does treat a different demographic groups or different sensitive groups differently. One of the famous fairness measures is called disparate impact. It essentially assumes that the predictor Y hat should be independent from the membership information A. So we can express it as an equation using the conditional probability. And the difference between the two terms are called CV score. Based on the definition, we can formulate a stochastic bioobjective problem in the form of finite sum. Here, the first objective is just calculate the prediction error using the empirical logistic regression loss. And the second objective, quantify the unfairness value using the covariance approximation. We have conducted a set of numerical experiments using 40 data sets. And uh, we compare the result of our algorithm with the benchmark method called Ipsion constraint optimization method. In the Ipsion constraint uh, model, we just take the fairness objective as a, as a constraint. So by varying the upper bound Ipsion here, we can get a benchmark for the Prito front. And the performance of the algorithm are measured in terms of five different metrics. The first set of figures show the performance profile for the five different metrics respectively. And the blue curve is the benchmark and the leftmost curve indicates the best performance. We can see that although the Accuracy of the Pareto front generated by all algorithm is slightly worse than the EBS fair method. We gain a lot in terms of the spread measure as well as the computational effort. And the second set of figure give a closer observation on the full trade of information for one of the adult income data sets. We can observe that the black curve, the, pre the Prito front generated by PFSMG performs better than the EPS fair in terms of both accuracy and the spread. In this data set, we can see from the sub figure B that the more accurate predictor tend to decrease the probability of positive prediction for the female group. And the last two figures just show that with only 2% of reduction in the prediction accuracy, we can have a perfect fair predictor for this data set. As a conclusion, the designed Pareto front version stochastic multigrading algorithm is quite robust and efficient to generate well spread and sufficiently accurate Pareto front. And in all application to fairness in machine learning, we can, the, using all algorithms, we can handle binary multi-value sensitive attribute, and we can handle different, set, different types of predictor and fairness measure. Moreover, it works for multiple sensitive attributes and fairness measure simultaneously. And uh, the last one is we can update the critical front using the streaming data. More details can be found in our paper preprint. And thank you for your attention.